A little bit of an update on the uh, Turbo 4.3 build. We did make a decision. Uh, we have a little bit of a budget concern and a little bit of a constraint. We uh, get some light on it for you. We are not going to be putting the billet splayed four bolt main caps from the 96 block over to the other the uh, side tie block that we're going to use. Uh, it was just going to cost too damn much money. Most of the machine shops we talked to said that we'd be easily looking at $500 to switch over those caps and that we may end up with odd oversized bearings and need shorter timing chains and all this other crap. So basically what they were telling us is that we'd be better off just buying brand new four bolt caps for this and then it's just starting from scratch and letting them line bore those two center caps to match what we have and it, that's you know five hundred plus dollars that we're just not really willing to put into this motor at this time so basically we're going to go with this side tie block it's got the nodular iron uh, main caps on it we are going to put in ARP main studs and just run it so I wanted to show you some of the deburring we've done to the block, uh, just ma mainly in the cam where it, where you're the windows to your cam. Then back here in the back left corner, that is your main oil drain back. And like I said, when we first started cleaning this block up, that little hole, I couldn't even hardly put my pinky in it. That's how much I've opened that hole up. Get some light on it for you. I've literally opened that thing up where it can actually drain. But uh, cylinders are all home fit. Like I said in the previous video, they're seven thousandths on all the pistons, so we're good there. Uh, everything looks good on our. We test fit the crank. Everything is spinning good. Uh, we walk in here we can see a little bit better uh, so we're gonna go with that side tie block 30 over nodular iron main caps and uh, just throw ARP studs at it and run it um, this is a little bit of work I've been doing on the cylinder heads kind of building up my what I call the bowl or throat how big you cut your throat or your bowl underneath your valve seats has a lot to do with kind of what kind of flow you can get and the quality of the blending from that cut into your actual port is super important. Um, I've kind of got some figures in my head and I've rig, uh, set up these as cutting guides so as I'm porting I can get everything to size, make sure it's round of course you want it as round as possible from the seat in. Um, you can see some of the rough cut that I've done on the guides. Let's see if I can get it or orientated for you. Um, these are nowhere near finished. I just was working my figuring out what shape I wanted to do on this style of head and I'm gonna cut them back quite a bit more. I just wanted to show that you know we are working on it. Um, this head's a lot farther along, but I'm still not happy with the transition to this gasket that we're using because of that stupid side port here. I hate the way that's so rounded. Um, I did get a new set of snap gauges to help, you know, get them all measured out the same, but it's just so doggone thin right back here behind this wall it's hard to see there's just not much material back here so I cannot straight cut it like I want because you want these to be just damn near as straight as you can get them and I mean these inside walls are fine they're not a problem there at all but these outer ones with this goofy gasket that we're having to run to match his uh, lower side tie intake to these I'm not sure what your heads these are but these are the vortex style heads but they're, they're coming along 
I believe they're going to flow pretty good when I get done with them. But uh, I just wanted to give a little bit of an update on some of the head work that I've been doing to it. And uh, unfortunately to admit to anyone following the build that the uh, four bolt splayed caps are out. Because we just couldn't justify spending that much money, especially being this close to assembly. We're just almost to the point we're going to start washing, doing the final wash on everything, throw the cam bearings in it, freeze plugs, and get ready to do some assembly. But I just want to give another update on where we were at on this build. Unfortunately, the I was, I was really liking the idea of putting those splayed four bolt caps in there, but I don't know. You know, sometimes the pocket starts getting a little bit shallow you can't dig as deep as you really wanted to but I think he's got some good quality parts going into this build and keep our fingers crossed everything will stay together and 550 plus you know if we if we push it on up to 600 with the boost it'll definitely be testing the bottom end but I don't know we'll go from there and hopefully be able to build a fast car for him and Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll get another video up for you this weekend. Thank you.